You guys want to hear something funny? So I don't know if you guys remember or not, but the last one of the last videos I did, I was breaking down why I had to move Asher's cage, my chinchilla. Well, several reasons went into why I had to move the cage, and then my office was then away from Asher, but that has now changed again. So I couldn't be right next to Asher, so I brought myself to Asher's cage. Forgive my dog if he walks into frame here. So, anyways guys, I just thought it was funny that I had moved Asher to a completely different room and now I have moved back in to that room with Asher, but I'm about to get Asher out of the cage. Then we are gonna make a video today for you on if you should get a chinchilla if you are currently debating it. And that is starting right now. Guys, what is happening? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. The channel specifically designed for new chinchilla owners to learn how to care for their chinchillas in the best possible fashion and just have some fun in the process. So if that seems like it would interest you, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Give us one of those thumbs up because those thumbs up help us immensely with the YouTube algorithm and always drop us some comments down below. But for now, let's go ahead and dive into the main content here on if you should be getting a chinchilla or not. Alright guys, like I said, in this video I'm going to cover if you should get a chinchilla or not. I have Asher out of the cage. You just saw some of the cage cleaning taking place here just a second ago. So let's start diving into some of those things you need to be keeping in mind before you run out and adopt a chinchilla. Nothing like some good old fashioned chinchilla playtime. Right Asher? All right guys, let's dive into number one. The number one thing I would say you need to consider before getting a chinchilla, or if you're asking yourself that question, if you should get a chinchilla or not, is do you have time? So I'm sure you're probably thinking what possible time could need to be allocated for a rodent. And here's the thing. It's not a ton of time. It's a little bit of time. It's a few cage cleanings a week. It's a few play times a week. It's getting them out of the cage and socializing them, just like you see me doing right now. That's really it. This isn't a difficult animal to care for but do you even want to do those two things do you want to clean another cage and do you want to get another animal out for playtime if you don't then maybe a chinchilla is not the best idea for you and that's nothing against you it just means that it might be better to hold off until that makes more sense or maybe until you can make a kid do all the work for you if you got a you know, three, four, five year old right now, maybe wait a year and then they'll love a chinchilla and they can do most of the work for you. I can tell you for sure that when Rowan, my four year old son is old enough, he will be taking over plenty of the duties with Asher here. Give it a kiss. All right guys, this reason might seem kind of silly, but reason number two is, do you have an area, assuming that you want a chinchilla, you're gonna make the time, but do you have an area in your house that, she's eating my notes. Do you have an area in your house that you can even proof or have available for playtime? Because if you don't, you have two options. Either A, don't adopt a chinchilla, or B, get a playpen, like the one that I use all the time. I mention this playpen in darn near every single video that I do. It's the Jess Pet 61 inch one that you can get on Amazon. And I suppose if you want to throw a wild card option in there, you could use something like a bathroom 
for your playtime. It's pretty safe as long as the toilet lid is shut. Don't leave that open. That would suck. But think about that. If you have, you know, just no viable areas or you don't want to create one and you don't want to get a playpen for the house, then that's another thing to keep in mind before adopting one of these guys. You guys want a pro tip I'm going to throw in here that has nothing to do with if you should adopt a chinchilla or not is when you get this playpen, sit in the middle of it because what these little furry creatures will try and do is jump onto your shoulder then your head then right out of the playpen so if the rest of the rooms aren't proofed they going bye bye all right guys number three is something different that i haven't really talked about in any of my other videos but do you want get off my notes just like a paper shredder number three is do you want to be in the middle of that rodent type life which is you've got the rodent poop. These guys poop a lot. If you use regular old school Aspen shavings, kind of like you would do with, you know, a guinea pig or even a gerbil, then you're gonna have shavings to clean. You're gonna have that shaving kind of smell in the house. That is one of the reasons I recommend going with something like the fleece liners, way less odor. They stay clean and they last a long time. But even though chinchillas are more exotic, arguably better looking pets than other rodents, they still have many characteristics that are the same as other typical rodents you would adopt from like a pet co or a pet smart, like hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, rats, ferrets, that kind of deal. They are a little more elegant than that. They're cleaner. They only need, you know, a dust bath and their cage clean, but at the same time, don't be confused. You're still adopting a rodent. So if that doesn't really fit your lifestyle or what you want in your house then a chinchilla is probably not the best pet for you and guys another key tip is you need to consider the animals that you already have in the house these are not pets that can just free roam with your dogs or your cats most likely your dogs or your cats will kill these or eat a chinchilla that sounds kind of crazy to think about but it's absolutely true so you know before you rush out to get one if you have other pets i'm not saying don't adopt one i have two dogs one of which is almost 100 pounds and the other one is completely crazy like mentally crazy and it's a jack russell terrier and you just need to plan ahead a little bit again i'm not saying don't adopt one i'm just saying that should be something in the back of your mind that if you bring home this chinchilla then just let's go play with it in the living room and your dogs are out you might not have a chinchilla for very long so it's another consideration you need to be aware of before you rush out to adopt one look how dusty she is you look clean asher clean you now that's a volcanic looking she looks like she's off a cut scene of dante's peak if you haven't seen that movie i was referring to the volcanic ash okay guys another reason or something you need to keep in mind before adopting a chinchilla is you probably shouldn't get one if you're looking for the most cuddly interactive pet you know under the sun yes you know asher here is actually very social and is willing to interact and be around me or be around my son or my wife but that's not the case with every chinchilla so you need to be thinking about that that you're not going to get this animal that loves to be held all the time or loves to be pet you might and you might even be able to socialize your chinchilla to reach that point but if they don't there's nothing wrong with that chinchilla it's just honestly luck of the draw you can do some research ahead of time with the breeder but do not adopt one if that's your end goal of getting a pet that you know is going to sit on your chest while you watch a movie that's not how these animals work and it should not be a reason you use to adopt one of them did you take my notes? Asher, did you take my notes? Please tell me, because I can't finish the video until you tell me. Okay, don't tell me. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with one more, and I think that this one arguably might be the most important of them all. And you need to just analyze your own time, your lifestyle, your work life. But you should not get a chinchilla if you're not home very often. The reason for that being is a it's risky unless you have like a dedicated you know chinchilla sitter there's things like temperatures that matter obviously making sure they have water and food and time out of the cage and those things so if you travel a lot or you're just on the go all the time and that's how your family and lifestyle is chinchilla is probably not the best and i'm not saying that you have to be a homebody and you just you always couch potato saturday and sunday that's not what i'm saying i'm saying if a majority of the time you know you're gone it's probably not the best pet 
They don't need you, honestly, very often. They're very low maintenance, but the few things that they do need, it's like you need to at least be there to make sure. It's hard to explain. It's like you need to be around a decent amount of the time just to make sure some of those crazy things aren't happening, like your AC units going out in the middle of the summer or their water bottle didn't run dry because you vacation seven times a year for seven days at a time, that kind of thing. Once you're you know, there you can certainly leave and get a sitter for your chinchilla or somebody to at least check in, you know, once a day, once every couple days. No problem at all with that. I am just simply saying that if you know you're gonna be gone like all the time, probably not the best pet to get. But besides that guys, get a chinchilla. Those are kind of some of the main takeaways from this is if all of those don't really apply to you, these chinchillas are awesome. You should consider adopting one. They need a good home. They're fun. They do crazy stuff. They run around. Kids will probably love them. So I say go for it. And I also say drop some comments down below about what you think makes getting a chinchilla make sense and when you think it doesn't make the best idea. As always guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. You can do so right below. Give us a thumbs up on the videos because YouTube loves when you do that. And the URL going across the bottom of the screen for planetchinchilla.com. Just type that into your address bar. Go check it out. Check out the blog. That helps us out immensely too just by you going to the website and manually typing that into your address bar. So go check it out. Make sure to check out the ebook offer at the top of the page in the menu bar under ebook downloads. It is basically a full resource for a new chinchilla owner. And always feel free to use promo code CHINCARE50, C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E-5-0 at checkout for 50% off, exclusive to the YouTube viewers. Other than that, guys, thanks for stopping by. Always remember the new publishing schedule is Tuesdays and Sundays. We appreciate you all greatly, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.